welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Brandon. And my name is Heidi, and we're here with another video for you guys. Yes, but first, if you're new, consider subscribing for more Disney content just like this, pins, hauls, and unboxings, and with all of that out of the way, let's get into today's video. Today, we are making four snacks from Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. Yes, and because Halloween is tomorrow, we are dressed up as Carl and Ellie when they are just little kids. Heidi's got her adventure book. She's all looking like Ellie. I got my little pilot uh, goggles on because I'm ready to go. So online, we couldn't find any recipes for the four things that we're gonna make. So we're just gonna wing it. We will leave our recipes down below in the description so you can try it out. We'll take you through all of the recipes. They're all Halloween. Mm -hmm. We are so excited. We also hope that you have a happy Halloween tomorrow and maybe you can try some of these recipes out. Let's get into this right now. So Heidi, let them know what we're making first. Uh, first, we are making Mickey Waffle Pumpkin Sundaes. So we need to start off with the pumpkin ice cream. And we went everywhere and they didn't have pumpkin ice cream in stores. So we're making our own. Yes. Let's see how this turns out. We have the recipe here though. So we're going to start off with... Two cups of heavy whipping cream. Is this heavy? It is. Well, it's like the heaviest that I could find. It's pretty light. Okay. But we'll put a picture of this right here so you can see what the authentic park one looks like. So we have two cups of that. Up next, we have one and a half cups of canned pumpkin, which this stuff... It smells so good. It's like... It, I it's, thought it smells like cat food. No, it smells so good. It's pumpkin pie filling. It looks so good and smells so good. Look at that. Oh. I love pumpkin things, so I'm really excited about this one. This is our first time making ice cream, so go easy on us if we don't know what we're doing. But we yeah. just thought that it'd be fun. The picture looks so beautiful, and we just love ice cream, love waffles. Up next, we are going to add a cup of... Uh, what is this? Brown, Brown sugar. sugar. <laughs> Brown sugar, so... So kind of a lot of sugar actually, and I think, uh, at least there's no regular sugar in it. That's, so that's true. Good. I really like brown sugar. Let me know in the comments. I just gotta say one one thing here. Did you ever, as a kid, have like toast with butter and brown sugar? Nope. It is so good. Let me know if you've had that. That was like a thing that my dad always used to make for us when he was making breakfast. It was that or like, a piece of bread with an egg, like in the middle with it cut out, you know what I mean? Yeah, I had that. That's what my dad used to make, one of the two of those. Okay, so the cup is in there. Yep. And now we have to add a teaspoon of ground ginger. So, we got all these things All these here. fancy spices. Ginger, brown version. I was gonna smell it, but then I thought, no. Now we need a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Mmm. -hmm. Love that for us. I love cinnamon. It's already smelling good. I can smell it. Yeah, it does smell good. And then where's the vanilla? Oh, here it is. Vanilla extract always freaks me out because it just doesn't look like it should. I know. It's so like, I think Dark. I totally forgot that like vanilla is a plant. I always forget that. Yeah, it's really weird. Ooh, got this the is what we hand. got so far. Ooh, there we go. And then I need a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just. Do it like a witch, like a pinch of salt in that brew, you know? Okay. There we go, look at that. <laughs> and then ground cloves. I think they're just making this stuff up. Like No, one, these are all spices that are in like pumpkin spice. Know, but and, like one eighth of this, is this I know. really gonna make a difference? I think it's gonna, make oh, all, wow. it's gonna make all the difference. Put in a little extra. So last time in our cooking video, Heidi did all the hard work of the stirring. So I thought I would take over this time. We're gonna mix up. It smells so good. And it I just says have to say to mix until the sugar is completely dissolved. Look at that color too. It kind of looks kind of good. It looks really good, and it smells lie. even better. So we are doing this because this has to set for a while. So we're gonna make this, put it in the freezer, and then make all the other things. So once this is ready, we can have everything all together. We are also making Hades nachos today. So we got some chicken strips. We are making the ice cream from scratch, but unfortunately. We have the picture bottles and we're not making chicken from scratch. No, we will leave the picture of the Hades nachos right here. I am so excited about these Hades nachos. Hades is my favorite villain. It's Halloween time. I think this is gonna be so good. And it's spicy. Do you like spicy? No. How do you feel about spicy? Not good. <laughs> so what our plan is, we're gonna cook these, we're gonna cut them, and then we're gonna put them in some buffalo sauce. And how long do these take to cook? 
Um, it said like 20 minutes? 400 for 16 minutes. Okay, nice. So like 16, probably 16 to 20 minutes. Yeah. So while that's in, we're gonna make something else for another dish. So we are also making something that as a kid, I just absolutely love worms and dirt but this recipe is called Billy's worms and dirt which I think is like a haunted mansion reference but again don't quote me on that because I really don't know but all this recipe is is chocolate pudding Oreos we're gonna crush these up and then we're gonna put some gummy worms on the top so we're gonna make the pudding right now and then we're gonna let it set and crush up some Oreos so first we're gonna do two cups of milk here in Ontario Canada this is what our milk looks like it comes in a bag <laughs> which I know is a shock to a lot of people. And then we have a little container that we hold it in. So we're gonna pour the milk in here. Let us know if where you are, you have baked milk. I know some people in Canada will, but America, I'm not too sure if anywhere in America does have baked milk or anywhere else in the world. And then we're gonna put one packet of the pudding, which I love pudding so much. We're gonna whisk this all together. So now, we are gonna pour it into these little containers. They look like little coffins and I'm really excited about it. So we can pour this in here. Yeah, that's actually a good find. I'm glad we did I that. I think we did that, that's a good thing. But we are gonna let that sit now for five minutes in the fridge and then we'll come back to it later to add the Oreos on top. Next we're making the cheese sauce for the nachos. So we have a lot of cheese here. We have jalapeno and cheddar, I think. Brandon's giving me the nod. So I'm, I'm like, it. yeah, 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 you're crushing it. Okay, so we have this like, oh, it's not that frozen. I was oh, scared to, I was scared to like take it out. Yeah, so we, we thought it was frozen. It's butter, and we need two tablespoons of butter. So I'm gonna put that in so it starts melting in there. I have to say before we keep going, we love these cooking videos. So let us know if you like this, and we'll do more of this because there is gonna be more coming. We just want to know if you guys like this because this is really fun for us to try some food and cook some things. And then two tablespoons of flour. We have to mix it till it becomes bubbly and foamy is what the recipe says and it's already becoming bubbly so I feel like I have to hurry up a bit. Let's mix it up. We're making a Jeez. roux. This is what that's called, a roux. A roux? Should we maybe turn the roux down? Sure, we can turn the heat down a bit. <laughs> Next up we need a cup of milk to add to our situation here. That was a good pour. <laughs> Oh, uh, look, pouring. as it's pouring out on it the counter. Awful it looked like really good from my angle, oh and then I saw gosh. that. <laughs> so then we stir that for 60 seconds. Okay. Our thing here is starting to thicken up. So we're going to start adding the cheese in. It says one handful at a time, and we like let it melt a bit, which this looks like so good. It's going to be love so good. Cheese. It's going to be like a queso sauce because it's like supposed to be hot. So it's going to be like chili powder and cheese. It's going to be so perfect. Oh it looks so good already. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. So the next step is adding a quarter teaspoon of salt. Yeah. So we're just going to do that. And then this is the Hades part. A quarter teaspoon of chili powder. Yes. Wow. Kind of a little bit extra. I think yeah, it's gonna be add good. Yeah, a little bit more. So it's, is that good? Yes. That, that's kind of. It's gonna add a pop of color, though. I think. Yes. Look at that. Okay, I'm not. Should I add that's all good. This? I think that's good. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> so we're gonna mix this and then put it off to the side, and then we're gonna get started on making some waffle batter. So now we're gonna make the waffles. We are using Aunt Jemima mix. Love it. So we're gonna reduce the recipe because we don't need to be making 20 waffles. So. We are going to add half a cup of the batter <laughs> as I get extra in, half a cup. And then we're gonna go a quarter of a cup and then a little bit extra there. So that and a little bit extra more as it all dumped in there. If you couldn't tell when I make waffles, there's about 30 waffles because I just add extra batter. Then we're gonna do one large egg. Let's see if I can do this like perfectly. Sometimes I'm not as good. Oh, jeez. Yep, look at that. Not even any pieces of the shell in the egg. Are you proud? Uh, yeah. So we're gonna add a quarter cup of milk. And then a little bit extra. And then we are going to add one and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil. One. To a little bit extra. And then we're gonna beat this all together and then add some fun things into it once it's mixed. So 
So now in the picture, as you saw earlier, the Mickey waffles are black. So we're gonna add some purple food coloring and some red food coloring because we couldn't find black food coloring. And we're gonna see how this works. So we'll add a bit of red and I think more purple because the purple is pretty dark. And we'll mix this and see how it goes. Might have to add more, can't take any away at this point. <laughs> purple? Sure. So now that the batter is mixed, we have this. And I got this from my lovely Aunt Judy. It is a Mickey waffle maker that makes an actual Mickey waffle. And I am so excited to do this. So we're gonna take a scoop and then add some chocolate chips. I just gotta grease this and then we'll show you what it looks like in the pan. So our batter is almost pinkish. We tried for black, but That's we got okay. pink. It's okay though. So it's very Mickey, like almost red. Just gonna add the batter and we're gonna make two waffles. Make them thicker waffles. Hopefully they turn out perfect, who knows. And then we're gonna add some chocolate because who doesn't love chocolate in a waffle? It's making it sound like it's gonna blow, are you ready? Yeah. Oh, it wasn't oh, that bad. Oh, it wasn't bad. even that bad. Oh, Braun. Oh, no. <laughs> Put it down, close it. What a fail. No, close it, it's not done. <laughs> It's my one time to shine with my awesome Mickey waffle maker and I blow it? Come on now. <laughs> Update, we didn't put enough oil. That's why it's stuck. So we're just gonna pour some oil in here. Okay, moment of truth, round two. The first time was bad. Yay. Yes, okay, I love it. Now we're gonna take this out of here. A little fork, you're gonna use the hand. See, Heidi's more adventurous. I'm scared that I'm gonna burn myself, but look at that. That's a pretty good Mickey waffle. We just gotta pull this little middle piece out. Made it look worse. <laughs> we'll just knock it out after. There's one. So I'm going to coat the chicken. I've cut it all up into little pieces. Yeah, so it's all done. It'll fit nice on the nachos with this Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Wing Sauce. Which is so good. I love that. I don't know about this. It's awesome. Frank's is good. The cayenne one, buffalo sauce. Do I know how much to put on? No. Nope. Put enough so it's coated. Like well, it's got to be spicy. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, they're Hades nachos. We want it to be fiery. Spicy. I think I would like it without the spice. We should have kept some for me without it, probably. I think that you'll still enjoy it. Okay. That looks really good. You think that's good enough? Yeah, I think that looks really that good. That looks like enough. That's perfect. So we are gonna get the nachos ready. We're gonna put the nachos on the pan that we cooked the chicken in, because it's nice and easy. Put the chicken on, add our cheese sauce. We'll show you what it looks like. We're excited about it. Waffle number three, actually. <laughs> the second good one is done. We're gonna pull that out. Put it on our plate. There are our two Mickey waffles. They look perfect. Now we just gotta wait for the ice cream. We're like coming together. We're almost done here. Of course, our snacks are not complete without a drink. So we are making snake eyes and this is a drink inspired by my favorite villain, one of them, Oogie Boogie. So these are the things that go into it. We have lemonade, Sprite. It's supposed to be green apple juice, which, what we, the heck is that? We didn't know if that's real. So we just bought normal apple juice and yeah. we're gonna use green food coloring, yeah. and then some worms, and we even bought some dice, don't worry guys, these are new, and I just washed them, so hopefully we're good. Because in the parks it usually comes with like reusable oh, dice ice that, cubes that are like that big, light up, that light up, stuff. we don't have that. So we don't actually know exactly how much of each to no. pour, but I love juice, so I'm just gonna pour how much I think. Heidi's gonna be an expert here. I feel like we need like, maybe we'll just do it in like threes. Yeah, like equal parts, that's what I was gonna say. And we got these fun, Cups that were from McDonald's. Let us know if you have any of these. These are like vintage Animal Kingdom Hollywood Studios. Oh, There's some lot. green. So we want it to be, look first. at that. That's okay. Maybe I'll put a bit more. Yeah, put a so bit it's more. really green. Yeah, we want it to be green, green. Yes. And again, we're gonna leave the picture of the real one right here, what it looks like, and then we'll compare. Okay, so we got our dice going in. <laughs> That's so fun. And then our little gummy worms. Worms to garnish on the cup. So we're gonna put them around here. We'll hang them over. I mean, we can put one in there too. Yeah. I think Oogie That's Boogie pretty. would be proud of you. Amazing. <laughs> so we got our Oreos, my favorite cookie. I love Oreos. We're gonna take the cream off, put all of the cookies in there, crush them up, and then we're gonna top our pudding. So I'll do that, crush them up, and then we'll show you what it looks like. How's it looking? Well, it's coming out of the bag, <laughs> which is kind of fun, because then it's just gonna be like that. But if it's a bit chunky dirt, it's okay, because we like the chunky stuff. I'm gonna put that on there. Get a nice layer. This is so good. Like, I used to love this as a kid. Let us know if you also ever had this, because it's so good. And there are the dirt and worms. Looks so great. So we got blue corn chips here, because they're supposed to look kind of like Hades, because they're like dark. 
don't know. And then we have our buffalo uh, chicken here, which is actually quite hot. It looks so good. I love buffalo chicken. We just put it in the oven again for a bit just to Yeah, let it crisp it up. up a bit more. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for. This cheese is going right on these nachos. And I'm gonna go like this. Look at that. We'll just pour it out. Go under here. Sorry for the glare. We're filming in the kitchen and it's like darker here. Cause we're in Canada up here. It's, it's like, like way darker, darker right? earlier. So we're not getting a lot of natural light. That looks so and good. More? A bit more. I mean, we love our cheese, so it looks so good. So our pumpkin ice cream isn't fully frozen. But that's that's okay. okay. We're just gonna make do. There no, we I'm go. I'm scooping this out like this. Oh, you just put it beside? Like you put it like this, and then you put the waffles like beside. Oh, okay. <laughs> it looks kind of. It looks watery, but we'll just go like this. Actually, watch this. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to put the ice cream. No, no, it's on. supposed to be in like a bowl. Oh wow, we can't even. This, <laughs> this. And then we got all the fixins. Oh, it's supposed to be candy corn, but you know what? We also couldn't find candy corn. So we are just using Halloween jelly beans. That looks good though. It looks really good. I think we just need one package. I was gonna do two, but one's good. And we'll put a couple of worms on here because Halloween time. And that's the end of it. Look at that ice cream just oozing out. <laughs> oh, what about this? Oh, and caramel sauce. You're right. We almost forgot. Almost forgot. Mm. Is that enough? Yeah, that's plenty, I think. Plenty, okay. So now we're gonna set this up, show you what it looks like, and then taste it. We're finally done all of the food. It looks so, so good. We can't wait to try all of it. So I think we should start with the drink. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It's good. The, like, look at the the dice are floating. Are oh, they yeah. floating in yours, mm -hmm. guys? They're floating. I don't. Well, you probably can't see. Is it good juice? I love juice. Heidi loves juice, juice, any juice. We love that. That's really good. Mm -hmm. This is our finished Mickey waffle pumpkin sundae. Guys, if we had more time, we would let it. Like, you know. Clink these. I'm gonna get some ice cream first. Okay, me too. To see if you like the pumpkin ice cream. Oh wow, it's very pumpkin-y. It's mm, good, but it's very so pumpkin good. It's very pumpkin. Oh if my it was gosh. actually frozen, it'd be really I good. wish it was frozen. It is so good. I'm just gonna dive in with using my hands. I'm just cutting this. I'm getting a piece. I don't want the gummy worm. Mmm. I like the caramel. That's a big bite. Mm. That was really yummy. That was really good. Now. I think this is my most like anticipated. Do you want to do that? Why first? don't we do that and okay. then that? Because this is like I'm gonna eat it all. Okay, so we each have our own Billy's dirt and worms. Which again, let us know in the comments what that's from. We think like haunted mansion, but aren't too sure. I already know I love this. Mm-hmm. Mm. No, so we have to put the gummy worms in the pudding. Is that how you're supposed to do it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. It's so good though. Yeah. I really love it. But next time, okay, yeah, because like the worms are supposed so to be just... under in the dirt. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. It's okay. Now it is time that we've all been waiting for. Hades, my guy, these cheesy buffalo chicken nachos. I are you wanna, ready for this? Yeah, this like inspire me to just like have a mukbang channel. Yeah, I know. Heidi's Pretty always wanted food. to eat lunch food. If you like us making food and like trying food, let us know in the comments below because again, we have some stuff planned for making food. If you like it, let us know. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, I'm getting like a cheesy one. I'm getting this one. It has a little... Chicken and cheese. Thanks. Cheers. Mmm. That's really good. It's so good. That chicken is really good. Mm -hmm. The buffalo and like the cheese sauce isn't spicy. No. I wish it was more spicy. I like it because I don't like spicy. So it's like perfect for me. I mean, you can always add some more mm -hmm. chili powder or whatever. Oh my gosh, I just want to eat this all. Well, that's it you guys. Heidi's gonna have some more nachos. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know if you were to try one of these dishes, which one would you try? We'd love to know. And if you do end up trying it, let us know on Instagram at Sunnytimes too, because we'd love to see it. 
If you are new, consider subscribing for more Disney content just like this, pins, hauls, and unboxings. And remember, it's always sunny.